Never have I ever made a short bow out of black locust. And never have I ever left a sapwood on. But here I sit. Now my black locusty glory. This is one of those older pieces that weren't split. Now Osage, I took that round and I split seven. I thought were good staves out of it, but because the, the, the pressures weren't relieved when it was drying, it just, it, the whole thing, basically just a splintery, splitty mess. And I'll be lucky to get a few um, small planes bows out of it, whereas if it was, you know, processed early, it just is what it is, you know. It would have been a, a more useful log, but I'll get something out of it. Black locust, on the other hand, same deal, just this round that just dried. And I was amazed at how there was like one little split running down on the outside. And the, the wood is solid. It really didn't split. A round drying did not split. It was just solid as heck. And so typically you think you have to take the sapwood off a of black locust. But I'm thinking about the, the magical quality of native bows. And you see all sorts of things. This bow was made out of a, a small sapling of Osage. They left the bark on. This is small sapling of Osage. They just peeled the bark off the sapwoods on the back. And it's an intact bow. They make a short bow. They draw it a good length. Crossing growth rings, just violation of growth rings. You know, there's there's a weird quality that bows can possess. You want to reach that point. It's kind of like a job, and definitely I'm not talking about any specific thing. Let's talk about this job I had at this campground. Two applicants, me and this other guy. And the fellow, I think his name was Denny, gave us each a weed whip and said, I want you to weed whip everything. And we worked like hell. I mean, we weed whipped eight hours straight. And then I got the job because I weed whipped more than the other guy. And then it was party time. We barely worked at all. It was a not a very well-run camp, poor maintenance, and we goofed off. It was like, you have to prove yourself to be able to goof off. And it could be that way with bows. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, I am definitely thinking about experimenting. Perhaps we're looking at the back of a gall wing. Send you back, of course, which will help support it. But I got to tell you, the sapwood on this black locust is hard. The only question is how tension strong it is. I don't know. But we shall see. That's how you learn. Well, that's all I have to ramble about. Processed quite a few staves, got back from my day job and treating bow making like another job. It is now going on nine o'clock and I'm beat. Well, see you in the funny pages.